With us here in the studio now is Zara Spiekermann from Berlin's Humboldt University. She's an expert in the field of network technology. What happens if there's a crash? Well, that's exactly the question. Who is liable if there is a crash? So that's currently debated on a legal level as well. And um, the question is, of course, how people can handle crashes. Will they need to be much better educated in terms of technology? What interfaces do they have at their disposition to actually handle the situation? There are myriad questions that are unanswered for now, and that's why um, all over Europe and also in Asia and the U.S. there are research projects ongoing that would answer this kind of question. Let's talk a little bit about um, RFID chips. They're already used in a lot of sectors, especially uh, in logistics. And the idea, if we just use the example of groceries, is simply put to get the local supermarket to know when you're out of milk and speed things up at the cash register. Um, these ID chips are also found in the latest German passports, for example, to help prevent illegal fakes. But how transparent is actually this technology making us in terms of data privacy? Who has access to this data? It, it really depends how the technology will be designed. Uh, when the um, RFID tag products come out of logistics, go to the retail environment and then are being handed on to consumers, the question is what happens to these tags? As a, re uh, as a result, right now there are debates that the tags should be killed or switched off at the um, store exit. At that point, um, there would be much less uh, of a privacy issue. What are the benefits and the downsides of such a complete regulation of our personal lives? I think what technicians aspire for or what the vision is is that we have less transaction costs in everyday life or also that there are minorities or elderly people where we can offer services that facilitate our everyday life like shopping for example with a smart refrigerator. The question is, of course, to what extent we actually really enjoy handling our everyday life and to what extent we actually don't want to give it up. Just a final question. Where on earth are we going to store all of this data? Well, storage is an increasing problem because um, we have such huge data volumes that storage technology needs to proceed and progress. However, there, are, there is a lot of effort being done, storage capacities, and large data warehouses being built, even to the extent that companies think about building data centers in the sea. Wow. It's a great future. Sarah Spiekermann, thank you so much for joining us today. Sure.